Hi everyone and welcome to my weekly talk. This week we're going to be talking about the basis of all living relationships, trust. I'm also going to be making an announcement about a monthly webinar that I'm going to start doing. This month we're going to do it on Valentine's Day. Yay, Valentine's Day. We're going to be doing it at 1 p.m. Central Time and it'll be exactly one hour. And if you can't make it to the live uh, webinar, go ahead and sign up anyway. The link is below. And if you can't make it, uh, I'll definitely send out and email you a recording of the webinar. Hey everyone, so welcome. As uh, you can tell, for those of you that watch my videos, you can tell I'm not in my office today. I am in sunny Colorado visiting my beautiful children and um, having a lovely time. It's sunny today anyway. It's not going to be sunny tomorrow. We're supposed to get more snow. But for now, it's really sunny and we're enjoying this lovely time together. So let's move on to today's topic, trust. So there are six elements of trust, and we're not going to be talking about them all today, but we will be covering them all in next week's uh, webinar on Valentine's Day. So the first element that I want to talk to you about today in order to develop trust is uh, self-knowledge. If you are not aware of why you make the decisions that you make and under what circumstances do you Cross your own boundaries, then it's certainly it's difficult to develop trust of yourself. And if you don't trust yourself, you're certainly not going to be able to maintain a trusting relationship with anyone else. It's where the danger of projection comes into as well. And I know I've said in the past that love without wisdom is a very dangerous thing indeed. And so uh, the first thing that we want to, to develop is self-knowledge, and that takes time and effort and a willingness to have a compassionate, honest look at ourselves. The next thing that we would like to take a look at in trust is the issue of motivation. What is your motivation for being in a relationship? What is the other person's motivation for being in a relationship with you? You know. There's that uh, classic codependent narcissist type relationship or empath narcissistic relationship pattern that exists that's really sticky that we don't even know that we're getting into when we're codependents or empaths. And one of the things that kind of gets us stuck is we think that the motivation for somebody to be in a relationship with uh, with us is because they love us and they want to care for us and nurture us and see us do well and support us in our goals and that they want to bring out the best in us. But quite often the motivation in those types of relationships is just the opposite. It has nothing to do with um, a mutual benefit, but only what's in it for them. And in our webinar on uh, next Thursday on Valentine's Day, we're going to be talking a little bit about how to recognize those potential patterns of a selfish motivation and not um, that altruistic sense of wanting to connect and be one with someone. The next thing that I want to take a look at in developing trust is how to be with the situation when you're noticing doubt arise within yourself. So if you're noticing doubt arise about a relationship, that's a really important thing to pay attention to. It could be coming from a lot of different sources. You know, oftentimes within the first uh, 30 to 90 days of a relationship, we start seeing red flags or question marks, but we dismiss those doubts and um, set them to the side. Again, uh, that's love without wisdom right there is dismissing those red flags and always within 60 30 to 90 days 30 to 60 90 days in that 
in that time period. If there's major cracks in uh, somebody's motivation for wanting to be with you, you're going to notice them then. You're going to notice the doubt arise early on in a relationship. And the more that you dismiss them, the more likely it is that the relationship could end up in a really rocky place not too far down the road. So in the webinar, we're going to be talking about doubt and how to use doubt to actually help you build more trust with yourself and the people around you and how to have really healthy, respectful, and curious conversations about the doubt that arises um, when you notice it. So again, we're going to be talking a, 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 in much greater detail in the webinar next week. Uh, today's video is just going to be really short. Uh, but I want you to be thinking about between now and next week, what motivations do you have for being in the current relationships that you have right now? What are your personal motivators for being in relationship? You know, and uh, I, we're going to be sharing those next week, actually. We're going to be doing a live webinar, and I'll be bringing people on to ask their questions and to dialogue. Um, and uh, again, please feel free to register for the webinar today. I'll be putting the link up on my uh, website and up on Facebook, uh, but probably about every other day before uh, the webinar starts next week. But I'd love for you to join us. We have room for about 100 people. And um, if there's more that sign up for it than 100, then I'll just be sending it out to you via email. All right, beautiful people, have a lovely week and get ready to experience a lot of love. Bye.